Namaste everyone I'm your co-host Shauni ma'am welcome to your favorite learning channel the topic for today's video is forest ecosystem so in our previous video we have already seen that the forest ecosystem is a part of the terrestrial ecosystem because it is a land based ecosystem now what is a forest forest is actually a large piece of land and this land comprises of huge trees plants animals microscopic organisms etc now the different organisms that are present in an ecosystem that is in a forest ecosystem they exist they exist in different layers of forest and these organisms they not only interact amongst themselves but also they interact with their surrounding environment so the main components of a forest ecosystem are let's see what are the main components the main components of what of forest ecosystem main components of forest ecosystem okay so what are these main components they are producers then consumers and then decomposers okay so what are producers producers are those organisms that produce their own food for example for example green plants okay so these are the examples of producers then what are consumers consumers are those organisms that depend on plants for food and they depend on plants either directly or indirectly okay so consumers can be cow lion etc okay then what are decomposers so decomposers are organisms that are responsible for the decomposition of dead and decaying matter so these organisms bring about the decomposition of the dead and decaying matter and hence they help in cleaning up the environment okay for example we can include here some bacteria some bacteria and fungi okay so these are the examples of decomposers and these three organisms are the main components of a forest ecosystem and as we know different organisms exist in different layers of forest okay now these forests can again be classified as classification let's study about the classification of forest ecosystem so first that we'll be studying here is the temperate forest okay so these temperate forests can be found in canada europe usa china and japan okay now let's study the key characteristics or key features of temperate forest ecosystem okay so where are these forests located they are located in where are they located they are located in both northern both northern and southern hemisphere and southern hemisphere okay and it, they are present between between where between the tropics the present between the tropics and the polar region so this is the location where temperate forest ecosystem can be found and they are present in regions where climate changes are considerable okay 
considerably there are climate changes in some regions where these temperate forests can be found and there are mainly two types of trees found in these forests two types of trees found here are evergreen evergreen and deciduous deciduous trees okay so these evergreen trees they mainly remain green throughout the year whereas deciduous trees they lose their leaves in the winter season so the forest may be these forests may be either deciduous or evergreen these forests may be either deciduous or they can be evergreen evergreen forest or sometimes or they can be sometimes a combination they can be a combination of both okay so evergreen trees would be green throughout the year whereas deciduous trees would lose their leaves in winter season so the forest can be either deciduous or evergreen or a combination of both of these okay so for example example the forests of forests of california in usa okay so these forests have temperate forest ecosystem okay now let's move on and study about the next type of forest ecosystem that is tropical tropical rainforest ecosystem okay so these rainforests that is tropical rainforests can be found in southeast asia west africa and north america so let's see what are the characteristic features of these forests so first we will see where are they located so where are they located they are located in the tropics in the tropics around around the equator okay this is the location where we can find these type of forest ecosystem now they are called the homes for several organisms okay or several animals so tropical rain forests are known as the home home for several organisms right so they are densely packed with very tall trees this is another characteristic that they are densely packed with what with very tall trees and they receive lots of rain this is one of the major characteristics that they receive what do they receive they receive heavy rain heavy rain okay and the change of temperature is very minimal here and they stay warm predominantly throughout the year they stay warm mostly or we can say predominantly predominantly throughout the year throughout the year that is throughout the year these forests have a warm temperature okay so 
here we can include the examples like orchids orchids epiphytes epiphytes then mosses etc these are the different things that are that can be found or different organisms like epiphytes mosses orchids can be found in tropical rain forests so the largest rain forests are in largest rain forests where would you find the largest rain forests they can be found in amazon river basin that is in where is it it is in south america then it can be found largest rain forest can also be found in congo river basin congo river basin which is in western Africa. It is in Western Africa and throughout much of Southeast Asia and throughout throughout much of where of Southeast can be found in. south east asia okay so these are the characteristic features of tropical rain forests now let's study about the taiga or boreal forest ecosystem so the next one that we are going to study here is taiga or boreal forest ecosystem okay So now let's see where are they found they can be found in or found across North America Europe and Asia and these taiga forest ecosystem it encircles a large portion of this encircles a large portion portion of what portion of northern hemisphere okay so they are mainly present around the northern hemisphere and it is the world's largest biome apart from ocean okay so it is also known as snow forest also known as what they are also known as snow forest okay so it comprises mainly it comprises it comprises of what mainly the conifers like pines spruce etc okay so these are the main that is pine spruce and these conifers mainly comprise the taiga or boreal forest ecosystem so taiga or boreal forest ecosystem are found mostly in where are they found they are found mostly in sub arctic region sub arctic region they can be found in alaska canada scandinavia scandinavia and where siberia okay so the taiga lies between this taiga forest ecosystem 
it lies in between what it lies between the tundra region it is present in between the tundra region that is to the north and the temperate and the temperate forest temperate forest that are present to the south so in between the tundra region and temperate forest taiga forest ecosystems can be found okay so now let's quickly revise the things that we have covered today so today we thoroughly studied about the forest ecosystem we already know that forest ecosystem is a part of terrestrial ecosystem so we learned what is forest so forest is a large land that comprises of huge trees plants animals microscopic organisms etc so these different organisms exist in different layers of forest and they not only interact with each other but also they interact with the surrounding environment now the main components of forest ecosystem are the producers consumers and decomposers so producers are those organisms that can produce their own food like the green plants then consumers are those organisms that directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food for example cow lion etc then decomposers are those organisms that are responsible for bringing about the process of decomposition of dead and decaying matter for example some bacteria fungi etc then we saw the different classification of forest ecosystem first one was the temperate forest okay so temperate forest we studied about the characteristic features of these forests so they are located both in both the northern and southern hemisphere that is present between the tropics and the polar regions so the two types of trees that are found in these forests are evergreen trees and deciduous trees these evergreen trees are those which remain green throughout the year whereas deciduous trees lose their leaves during winter so the forests are also of two types that is deciduous or evergreen forest comprising of these two type of trees and also they can be a combination of both the these types of forest that is a combination of deciduous and evergreen forest okay so these forests can be found in california in usa so the california in usa have forests that are of temperate forest ecosystem okay so the, here we can see the image okay the image of deciduous forest right so in winter these trees the deciduous trees they lose their leaves this is the image of deciduous forest then we talked about tropical rain forests okay here is the image of tropical rain forest so their main features are that they are located in the tropics that is present around the equator and they are called the homes for several organisms and these forests are densely packed with very tall trees the trees present here are very tall and they are densely packed and these forests receives heavy amount of rainfall and the change in temperature here is very minimal and they usually stay warm predominantly throughout the year for example orchids epiphytes mosses etc can be found here so the largest rain forests are present in the amazon river basin which is which is in south america and the congo river basin which is in western africa and throughout the much of southeast asia have these largest rain forests okay then we also talked about the taiga or boreal forest ecosystem okay so what are the special characteristics of these of this ecosystem so this ecosystem usually encircles a large portion of northern hemisphere and this ecosystem is the world's largest biome apart from the oceans okay these ecosystem that is taiga or boreal forest ecosystem is also known as snow forest and it usually comprises of 
conifers like pine, spruce, etc. Here we can see the needle shaped trees are mostly common in taiga forest. So, taiga or boreal forest ecosystem are found mostly in subarctic region, Alaska, Canada, Scandinavia, and Siberia. And this ecosystem lies in between the tundra region, which is present to the north, and temperate forest that is present to the south. Okay. So, I hope you all would have got some great insights by watching today's video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Till then, thank you for watching.